Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. Now this here is not okay. We got delivery this morning and it's gonna solve our storage issues. So we've got the massive Sumo kit from SB Tools. It's like Christmas, the mailman came this morning. So it's a big shelf unit and it has the roller tool kit, shelves each side. We can put all our like cans, aerosols, paint stuff. The idea is to just clean up this wall and keep that toolbox as the roller one to work around cars and stuff. So we also got a few other bits and pieces that I need. We've got some new drill bits, finally got some earmuffs because me and Mitch have been fighting over one pair for the last who knows how long. Massive battery charger uh, to keep all the cars charged. And the 90 piece tool kit. Now this is a kit that I actually helped develop with SB Tools and they've reboxed it now, they're back in stock. We've got the GU on the front, which is sick, so big shout out to SP Tools for that, but this is the one kit that you'd ever need in your four-wheel drive, and it rolls up. I never like those big square ones, because it kind of limits where you can put them. Throw it under your seat, in your tray, in your drawers, whatever you want to do. But we're going to assemble this today. It's really nice sliders on this, like they've got the locking latches and that. There's a ton of features. We're going to build it first, and then I'll pretty much run you through how we're going to set it up, so let's rip in. The Mammoth Toolbox is pretty much assembled. Mitch is so happy with his work. I'm gonna let him run you through it. Cause he's been working at this all morning. Right, it needs polish. It needs polish. But we open the big hutch and look at this paradise. Organized, hung up, neat and tidy. Everything has a place. It's probably only gonna last a couple days. So I'm gonna make sure to get as much footage as I can cause Sam's just gonna completely mess it up. But then, side cabinet, we've got all our paints, aerosols, raceworks hoses, very nice, very nice. Then we work our way to this side. Specialty tools and nothing yet. You know, we'll get there. Maybe some merch clothes and stuff in there. But that's the new toolbox. So I've actually always dreamt of having this toolbox and I was a little first year, I'd be looking in their catalog straight at the Sumo series and I've always wanted one. So now I finally get one, it's awesome. Make sure to jump over to their website and check these things out because trust me, if you want the one toolbox that's gonna last you a lifetime, you'll never have to upsize, this is the one you gotta get. It gives just a quick rundown of the tool rules. Don't borrow them, don't move them, don't touch them, and most likely for Sam, don't even look at them because I'll go missing. Which leads me on to my next point. We're gonna do an induction training session. Hello and welcome class of 2024. On today we're doing the SP Tools induction. In today's program we're going to cover how to put tools back, how to keep things nice and tidy and how not to break shit. Can I go to the toilet? No. Sit down. Piss your pants. Alright, first topic. Putting tools back. Now, as we see here, perfect, perfect demonstration of getting put back. Now, let me run just a quick little example for you. What is wrong in this picture? There's no battery in it. Try again. The knives are facing the wrong way. There's no drill bit. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Can I get a volunteer for our uh, a demonstration here. I'll volunteer. All right, Sam, Sam is it? Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Okay, I'll just need you. Off Tommy. On the ground here is a drill. It belongs up there. Now watch, watch, I'll do, we do, you do. You pick it up like that, yep, just watch. We put it back. Nice. Pick it up with me, come on. Pick it up. We do. I drew your mom. Come on, hold the drill. Where do you reckon it goes? Come on. All right, this morning we're back down at King Fab. The boys had the car since yesterday. 
Um, we've picked up the guards and bonnet, so they've been tinkering around just making sure things fit. I think we're going to whack the bonnet and guards on now and just see how it all looks up. They're going to have it for the next probably day or two, making twin snorkels. So there was two possibilities with the airbox. You could either go twin like filters, but I decided to go with a single. Simple and easy, but I don't know. They can do twins. It looks sick, but we didn't go that way. So the boys have been hammering it. So we'll see what they've been up to. Get some shots. Get these guards on, see how it looks. And then we're going down to Outback Tourer. Big day today. He matters freaking out. He's like, oh my God, so much to do, so little time. Kaido's just chill as He's like, yeah, man, we'll get it done. They're such different people. Anyway, the boys have for the next couple of days. We are continuing our amazing journey into the beautiful land of Brisbane. Do you like Brisbane? Fuck, hey. Brisbane is trash. Anyway, we're going down to Outback Tour now to see the boys there. So Lockheed Christian. Oh, we just entered a tunnel. We are going to be picking up the new tent for the canopy. So canopy is coming this weekend, should be in this episode, and we're about to pick up the new rooftop for it. So let's see what we get. All right, we rocked up at Outback Tourer. Perfect timing, the boys are working on one of the cars. Lockie and Christian are here, what's going on? Don't look around here. Do Don't look around. So I'm gonna let you on a little secret. In a couple of weeks, we got a trip across the Simpson Desert. And who's coming, Christian? Christian will be coming on the trip with us across the Simpson. There's a couple of other cars as well. Go. I'm not going to let that out of the bag just yet, but this 79 has just been, had everything thrown at it. It's like the best of everything. Chip She's pretty nice, except this. <laughs> except <laughs> this <laughs> bit. So we're going to have two brand new builds, my patrol and this one, fresh canopies, straight into the red dust. So it's uh, going to be a lot of cleaning for the show. Anyway, we are going to have a look at the tent we're grabbing, so let's go check that out. Alrighty, so we're going there. Z tent, that's what it's called? Yeah, 12. So you got the Z tent, this is the big dog, right? So it opens two ways. Now, Mike was going to be sleeping this on the first trip, so he loves to be in luxury, so we went with this one. We're going to go 270 degree awning as well, and you got shower tents? We do, yeah. Bang on a shower tent too, so uh, that is the plan. Canopy's coming this weekend, and then four days after that, hit the tarmac. Is your car ready? Yeah. Definitely more ready than ours. <laughs> so we're gonna rip uh, one of these home, get the solar panels installed, get it on the canopy, which comes on the weekend, and it'll be all hoorah after that. The good thing is Michael's an auto sparky, so I'm gonna con him into wiring up the whole canopy. So, all right, to avoid having a major male orgy, we all need to sleep separate. So on this trip, there are Outback Tourist Swags coming very soon. So this is one of the ones off the showroom floor. We're gonna wrap up and Mitch will probably be sleeping in this. There's one more, there's a smaller version they're gonna be doing as well that I'll probably sleep in because Michael will be in the uh, rooftop bloody penthouse over there. So uh, if you're in the market for swag, just hold off because these will be coming very soon. And we'll, uh, this thing's actually a big daddy. Look at the size of it. You'll be doing the small ones as well? Yeah. Yeah, so there'll be like a single, which is still big, and then obviously the twin for you and the missus. And you're gonna wrap up small, we'll see how we go. Okay, I got a little bit excited. I've already gone and set it up. We got it at home. Now the mission is to see who's actually gonna sleep in it. There's between me, Mitch and Michael, we're all fighting over it. I'll run you through some of the features. This is their Z tent. It's quite obvious it's a Z when you open it. It has that shape, so the top section folds up. And I have literally opened it for five minutes, so there's probably a lot of things I haven't seen, but opens everywhere. Like there's fly nets, even through here it can open. Bloody thing for your shoes, which is sick. So come closer, I'll show you some of the features. Rightio, so super comfy mattress in here. First things I've noticed is LED strip lighting both sides so they can plug straight in. There's power in the actual tent as well. So there's I think two Siggies and a twin USB outlet. 
This is pretty cool up here. There's like storage up the top and I can already just picture throwing a little phone or iPad in there. You can watch a movie up on the top there. So you can still use this as just like just opening the back as a normal tent and then pop the front if you want to have that extra space. Um, got the shoe holders and stuff. Now you can option these to have solar. So this was actually got 400 watt of solar on it. So that's pretty epic. And side note, if you do go the bigger ones, you can change these gas struts. So we're gonna have to change these 450s for 650s. Um, and Outback Tour, Tour I can offer that. They can sort out your gas struts if you've got anything heavy on the roof, like the solar, or you put your SUP board, paddle board, whatever, you can change that over. So plenty of storage, all that kind of stuff. So pretty keen to get it on the car. Canopy should be arriving soon, and then we can mount this thing on. But we've got the awning to do, which mounts to this. We may or may not whack that on now but I basically run all the wires for the solar, so it's pretty much all we can do for the moment. And then we'll uh, get it installed on the car. Woo all right guys, today is the day that my train canopy rocks up. I just got the call that Dan from Gila is heading up this way. Tray and canopy is on the truck. He's personally driven it up from Melbourne and today we're gonna to install it. So it's probably the nicest thing I've ever had on a car. Normally I just build some crap myself, but this is top notch. He sent me some sneaky photos and I can't wait to see it. So when he gets here, I'll have a quick look at what we got, assemble the bits we need to get the tray on, and then the canopy's gotta get sorted and we gotta wire the shit out of that thing. There's a lot of work to do inside of it, but fingers crossed, he'll be here very soon. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. The boys from Healer have rocked up, done the bloody 23 hour drive, swapping drivers. So uh, the next couple of days we finally get this tray on the car. It's pretty cool to have like half a ute built and then the back half just comes together and uh, I didn't have to do much of the work. So it's been great. <laughs> Rip her out and have a look, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty, so the boys have ducked down to their hotel because they're actually from Melbourne. If you didn't know, Heal is down in Melbourne and they literally drove through the night to get this thing here on time. So big shout out to the boys getting the train canopy built in a very small timeline. So the canopy's here. I'm not gonna open the doors just yet. I'll show you the party inside a little bit later. Uh, we have to do all the wiring, get all the red art gear in, all of that. But the mission today, I'm just gonna do some tinkering on the tray and the boys are coming back tomorrow and properly install it. So. Gloss black tray, all aluminium. They do some sick work. I saw these guys at the Brisbane Four Drive Show, pretty much fell in love with kind of the different way they build these things. Like trays and canopies have been around for years, but um, they're able to do some little custom bits, which I kind of loved on this. So first thing, these exhaust tips. I've always run the exhaust tips out the back on this patrol and look at the shape of this thing. How's that for an exhaust tip? It is huge. So the drama I always had whenever I did the twins out the back and had a tray or a cover, you could never perfectly get the alignment right. So the new design with this is to use that piece to sit on the back and it's kind of like a slipper that slips over the exhaust. So I'm gonna drop the tray up and down a few times and get the exhaust sitting where they need to be, drill some holes, make some mounts so that job's done. And then tomorrow when the boys come back, we hammer into assembling the uh, tray, putting all the toolboxes on, get the top back on and all the back pieces. Then the canopy can be dropped on, start the internal fit out, rooftop tent goes on, <laughs> it's all happening. We've got four, three working days, four days in total, including Sunday, before the car needs to be finished. So let's rip in. All right, back for day two, we spun the ute around. Tray's going on today. How are the boys feeling after your big sleep? <laughs> a lot better today, better today than yesterday. How many hours did you drive? Uh, it was 23 hours to get up here. Didn't really sleep the night before. Drove overnight, so what? And you were meant, <laughs> meant to take turns <laughs> sleeping in the passenger seat? Didn't happen. Oh, there's no sleeping in a budget truck. <laughs> nah. That's the worst. So we got Dan and Zach here. And we're gonna basically tray. Toolboxes, it's pretty handy that this top bit can come off and get into all the bolts. Then uh, lay the checker plate back on. 
and get everything mounted up. We've got water lines, we got fittings for fuel, fillers, there's two tanks on the patrol obviously, um, and then we'll look at getting the canopy on and putting it all together, so big day of assembly. Bloody smoko's arrived. Can't do a good day's work without some bloody dirty bird in ya. Bit of KFC. <laughs> anyway, the tray's on. Um, I promise in this episode, I'll show you the inside of the canopy, but we're working on the bottom half today. Off the bat, look at the paint. Gloss black tray. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that, but it's come up mint, so. A couple little toolboxes here and doors to get in for fuel fillers and that. Super, look at that on gas struts. Nailed the back end, obviously yesterday we were dealing with those exhaust pipes, but we got them lined up pretty good, which is sweet. Handy with this that we can take the top off to get in and do all the fittings and stuff up. So, most of the toolboxes are on now. Um, we're just finishing off some fuel fittings. Uh, there's a fuel hose that's gotta go in here because this obviously has two tanks. So there's the main tank there, sub tank will be in this one. Um, and on the other side, we've got water outlets. So there's actually two tanks on this tray. What's the capacity? 30 in the headboard, uh, 40 underneath. 30 in the headboard, 40 underneath. The way I've plumbed it up, or they have, is they're joined together. So you, it basically is one big tank, but it's just separating between those two spots. So now we'll get the top on and then get the canopy on and we can, yeah, start getting the rest of it together. It's looking schmick, but. It's time, the reveal of the interior. Would you look at that? We've gone for a white interior. And pretty simple to bolt down. Four bolts, one in each corner. So the mission over the next bloody three days or two days, it'll be the next episode, is all the Red Art gear. We've got some brand new stuff, the Alpha 100, 3000 watt inverter. Michael and I will be wiring this thing flat out. So three days till the boys leave, two days of wiring. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Check out Healer if you want to see um, the other stuff that they do. And uh, make sure you request from Dan that you want white interior and gloss black outside. <laughs> He's so off it because it's so hard to keep clean. But look, if you want it, they might do it. See you next week.